Alrighty then, let's get into it. Hello everyone, it's me. I'm back, yet again. Um, we are here today with some more Penny Dreadful. The wonder that is that format. And we're playing something pretty reminiscent of Legacy. Uh, this is a list that I've been thinking of ever since we played Oris. Um, basically, I was like, let's play Reanimator the way it should be, with blue and with black. So this list I kind of came up with um, over the course of a little while. I'm really not sure. Merfolk Looter seems really good in longer games, but I'm torn between going for really fast or really long. Um, so we've got Hapless Researcher and Putrid Imp as one mana discard enablers. Then we also have Merfolk Looter to kind of play us into the long game if we need to sculpt our hand a bit more. Um, Frantic Search is obviously always great. Um, buried Alive as Triple and Tomb. It's three and Tombs stapled together. I'm surprised it doesn't cost Triple Black. If they reprinted this card today, it would cost Triple Black. Uh, <laughs> just because it would be three and Tombs. Um, I guess this can only get creature cards, not just any card. Dread Return as an alternate reanimator. Our main deck reanimation package, uh, it's mainly going to be Runescard Demon. I'm pretty sure. We're going to put... We want to put Runescar Demon into the bin, reanimate it with Animate Dead, and then go get another Animate Dead to get another Runescar Demon. So like, Buried Alive for triple Runescar Demon potentially, and then just go Animate Dead, Animate Dead, Animate Dead. Um, we've also got a couple of things. We've got Sphinx of Thune. This one, Fact or Fictions, when you put it into play, which is pretty good for refilling. Um, and then we got Nezahol, which I put there just to be kind of like a um, control, probably can't beat this card and if we get to the stage where we're casting reanimation targets this is a pretty good one to have it can also refill our hand if they're trying to deal with our stuff and a funny little interaction is with animate dead and nezahol i can flicker the nezahol by discarding three cards and it will get rid of the animate dead but it won't actually get rid of the nezahol nezahol will still come back um so that's kind of cool over to the sideboard we have a lot of reanimation for aggro um so it we start with Resolute Archangels, the only one we definitely can't cast, um, but it just makes our life total 20 again, so it gains a bunch of life. I don't know how necessary this is, considering we're also playing Demon of Dark Schemes, which uh, just does like a infest effect to the opponent's board, well actually to everyone's board, but we're not going to have much that's going to care, and can also be a reanimation target. So if this killed a couple of Putrid Imps, we actually wouldn't be too unhappy because we'd be getting energy. Um, and then a couple of Archfiends of Ifnir, which puts uh, minus one, minus one counters on the creature's opponent's control, whatever we discard cards. So that comes from Looter or Putridim. We could just like discard a bunch of cards that aren't relevant to um, kill our opponent's board. One more Nezahol, because in control matchups, I feel like we're actually going to get to cast this card. Um, and it's just really good against control. A couple of miscards for some interaction, a few Duresses and a few Soul Guide Lanterns. Um, the nut, the nut draw, I suppose you could say, would be turn one swamp, dark ritual, putrid imp, uh, discard, runes guard, demon, animate dead. <laughs> or nezahol, or sphinx, probably sphinx actually, just because we then get all that card disadvantage back. Anyway, let's jump into the league. I've already signed up. Um, so... PD League. Uh, I need to change my deck. Submit. And let's play Finkel Einhorn. Finkel Bloody Einhorn. Give him a good old good luck, have fun. Um, yeah, this hand is fine. We could. Turn one, we can turn one Dark Rit Buried Alive. Uh, I think I'm not going to bother. I think we want to make sure we actually have something to do with it first. Um, and the Dark Ritual will always be plus two mana, so we can potentially get it off later. Like, if we find the animate dead, we can wait till turn three and just go buried alive animate dead. Which doesn't sound like a bad idea. 
I do love me some blue black reanimator. It's so much more f fun than uh <laughs> Finkel said, uh, I asked how they're going. They said 2-0, ready to lose to you as usual. <laughs> Doing okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing well. New deck, just so I'm not sure how bad it will be. Uh, damn, Juris main deck is going to be a little bad against us. And they might just take our Buried Alive here? Maybe Dark Ritual? Buried alive, yep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's the enemy dead. Um, okay. So, I think we can start with a dismal backwater, actually. I think that's fine. Hopefully, there's not more discard. Nice. Well, that's pretty good. Um, let's do a main phase opt, since if we get Putrid Imp, we actually don't need a third reanimation. Okay, well, <laughs> alright, so all the reanimation targets are on the top of our deck. <laughs> oh, not targets, all the reanimation spells are on top of our deck. Alright, what's this? Oh, we're against Stompy. Mono Black Stompy. I wonder if they're playing Heartless Stumpy. Duress wasn't main deck in Heartless Stumpy. Um, Alright, we're kind of... Kind of drawing a little bit dead here. That Duress was pretty good at kind of shutting down what we've gone on. Hey Siren, how you going? Nezahol. Yeah, it's Reanimator. But Nezahol is definitely castable. We got 22 lands, and they all make blue or black. <laughs> I do wish Desolate Lighthouse was um, blue-black, but <laughs> that's that's not going to happen. I'm well, thank you, Siren. Uh, I um, did a couple of test games with the deck you sent me. Firstly, who puts a one-of Cultivate? What What is a one-of Cultivate? <laughs> what does that even do? <laughs> um, but secondly, it kind of gets stomped by Ugin. It just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, Cultivate is either a 4 of or a none of, pretty much. I mean, depending on. Ooh, Finkel's asking if I know if the Wildfire deck is fun. Uh, I'm quite sure it's very fun. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're kind of getting beat down real hard. We might just have to cast some Dark Rituals to, uh,. We actually might be able to cast this. Now I think we definitely can. So, five, yeah, six, seven. Always yield to this. Eh. <laughs> it's meant to be three, and it's what for sure makes sense. Uh, I don't think stone coal coils necessarily the way you play through Ugin. Um, I think it basically at the moment you just have to be fast enough to beat Ugin. Uh, Bolus is Citadel. All right, I get to draw a card. God damn it, we just drew so many of these. We're probably just dead. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. But it did inspire me. I kind of want to just play a little kid Selesnia deck that is um, just a whole bunch of uh, green, white beaters and a Ketra. We have drawn a lot of lands and it is not very good for us. We can't attack. Yeah, I understand. Maybe what you need to do is hit 7 mana. And actually, is it 7 or 8? Whatever, however much Endray's 4 on his costs. <laughs> that way your Arboreal, uh, Arboreal Grazers are um, 
I'm gonna hit for two. <laughs> Gosh. All right, I feel like this first hand, when they got the buried alive, just, just died. Desecration demon. That's not a non-creature. I think Nezahol's actually pretty good in the current meta of some very hard control decks. Like the Grixis Cruel Ultimatum decks and the um, Blue-White control decks are all pretty good. Alright, Davriel's not going to be great against us. We do need them to hit some lands in a row, like a chunk of them. I meant to have some Heartless Acts in the sideboard. But I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. You could probably... I feel like these kind of mid-range decks actually do better in Historic. Because you have a higher power level of mid-rangey threats. Uh, sure. I will discard a Dismal Backwater. That was dangerous, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, this is bad for us. <laughs> Cling to dust, sure. Another Davriel. They're getting very low. We could almost kill this Amid Eternal. <laughs> yeah, DNT brain go brr. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of an island. Do they have a Grey Merchant in hand? I think probably. I think quite possibly. No, thank you. Um, hmm. We're definitely blocking the Grey Merchant. It's more uh, devotion. And we take three from this if we block it. Alright, we've got another turn. I wasn't expecting another turn, to be quite honest. Something big. Something big. Yeah, that's a good one. Alright, one, two, three. Oh my gosh, 22! 22. 22 lands is not too many lands. Uh, yeah, we can untap some things. <laughs> we just didn't find another creature. Uh, Alright. We died. We died pretty hard. Alright, so against Bolus' Citadel Stompy. That's interesting. 22 lands is high for reanimator, but you remember we're casting three and four mana spells, so you kind of need it a little higher than you'd normally play it. Um, I just wanted to find a looter or at least a hapless researcher. So I think we can bring in the arch fiends. Um, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Davo with the. Uh, Ah. Devo with the prime sub. Um, is the threshold reanimate legal? Uh, yeah, yeah, future doom's legal. All right, I need to sideboard, and I don't know quite how. They actually had a few things that died to this. But I think we're fine with just Arch Fiends. Um, and I, I feel like their deck doesn't do anything if they don't get Bolas' Citadel. So, I'm going to bring in the duresses. Now, five cuts is a lot to make. And we can't really cut... I think we can go down to six reanimation spells. Um, I think we can cut... A single dark rit. See, we're going to play a bit slower. We're going to play two dark rituals. And then cut one of these. Because we want slightly higher threat density. Probably one runescard. 
Because you can still chain off three rune scuds. Ah! BB returned from grave to hand that with threshold reanimates. If you can find the card name, I would love to know. Alright, this hand's, this hand's definitely keepable. How you going, Deva? Thanks for the Prime sub. Is it the 22nd today? It is. Oh, it's the 23rd. <laughs> Did that fix my... It didn't fix my Founder's Badge thing. For some reason, the Founder Badges haven't worked for the past two days. Oh, right, current amount six. There should be seven. Because Matt Wu also are... Uh, also subbed. 22nd in US, right, 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 right. You've got a badge. You got your founder badge. <laughs> Yo, where's my badge? <laughs> yep, that's pretty good against us. Um, Alright, here we're going to... We can start with this, actually. Get rid of that. And now I'm gonna just go like this. We'd really like to reanimate this turn. <laughs> Where? Are we? we have 10 reanimation targets. And we can't find any. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, it looks like we might be uh, trying to steal theirs. Hey, Flacco. Yeah, they might be. Yeah, you can dress me. That is fine. Stitch together. I don't need Merriam Webster. I would like MTG. Turn target creature card from graveyard to hand. Return the graveyard. Oh, wow. That's cool. I like that. I really wish Thought Scour was legal. I really wish Thought Scour was legal. I would play the shit out of Thought Scour in this format. <laughs> Alright. Something good, please. Archfiend of Ifnir is definitely good. Let's get rid of Uh, we're just gonna cast this. <laughs> Because, unless they tap out. If they tap out, then, then I'll, I'll reanimate it, but. Hopefully they're not running ostracize as well. Oh, it's not legal. Dang. But yeah, I think this is going to be reasonably good against them. They have a lot of mana here, though. So this is a bolus of Citadel, likely. Underworld Dreams. All right. Alright, interesting. We're kind of getting getting got, I suppose. So now we actually want to find a land, so we're a bit sad we discarded two. Yeah, we're taking two damage. Um, well, there's a land. That's that's actually very good. Let's get rid of one of these. Hopefully they don't have a removal spell? We could have just played Looter, I guess, and waited until next turn. Uh, but, I don't know. It feels like we should have a 5-4 on the field. 5-4 <laughs> flyers are reasonable. Three, is this a Citadel? Are they playing Flacco? Does do you have um, Peer into the Abyss in your deck? Are we just gonna get peered and die? <laughs> Cause if so, I love it. This looks like a Citadel to me. Oh no, Demon. Demon's big, which is a bit unfortunate, but it will get smaller. Uh, 
I'm just think seeing these underworld streams, underworld dreams, and thinking, well, this could go very poorly very quickly. Yeah, ransack the lab. Could animate dead their Nighthawk? <laughs> uh, I will not sacrifice a creature to their summoning sick dude. Runescard demon. We are just taking a reasonable amount of damage from uh <laughs> from good old fashioned underworld dreams. Format staple underworld dreams. <laughs> let's let's loot. Uh dread return. You can go in the bin. This is just like Lava Axe Plus. <gasps> uh. Now we could sack everything <laughs> and bring back a putridimp. That doesn't seem amazing. Yeah, no thank you. Unfortunately, this is going to be able to get in if we don't sack. But then we're going to start Runescard Demoning, so I think we might be okay. Yeah. That was expected. That is acceptable. Just get thoughts eased. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily we only have Duress and Ostracize. If we get Duress, it's going to be feel a little bad. But we're also only two lands away from hitting this runes cut demon. <laughs> Just playing it as a 6 6 flyer. Dark Rachel's scary. Seven mana is scary. Citadel? Yep. We didn't get to draw any of our interaction, unfortunately. Oh boy, <laughs> that, that hurts, <laughs> that hurts a lot, okay, no worries Siren, well we're down to one, um, I suppose we can sack a looter, unfortunately that embiggens it, it's just otherwise we have to trade with Ifnir, and uh, that sounds bad, also we die on our upkeep. So, <laughs> GG's. Oof. <laughs> All right, off to a bad start, but that's fine. Oh, Penny Dreadful testing. We're not about that testing. Test in a leak. Epic Walrus, let's go. Round two. times like this that I really want music on but if I have music on YouTube doesn't let me publish my videos and it's sad um yeah hands fine it's lacking it's definitely lacking but it's acceptable lots of lands this deck just has a lot of lands I guess I'm gonna lead with opt because we need to um we need to find some action reasonably quickly Should probably be running four putrid imps. I don't know. I've seen other versions of this deck that just run eight merfolk looter effects. Um, I could see that being correct, and not running the putrid imp in hapless researches. Animate dead, we only need one at the moment. Buried alive, that's pretty good. Um, do we wait till turn three to pop it off? Probably. I think we just play Dismal Backwater. <laughs> yep, alright, cool. 
dismal backwater opt and um, then we can go buried alive reanimate and that seems pretty okay and I think I think the first one we do is potentially let's see I mean we could just get counted I'm not sure what they're on this deck feels like it wants main deck duress. <laughs> uh, alright. I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. We didn't come here to be... to not do it. This is not a coward stream. Alright, so that's working. Uh, I think we just go... One, two, three. And then our first ones, our first one's actually going to be Sphinx. Because <laughs> we've got another anime dead, so. Alright, opt into Mana Leak. Nice. Nice. I mean, that's fine. We take whichever pile has looter in it, I think. Look at our, our putrid imps. I'm pretty sure this is whichever pile is looter. Yeah, I'll take three. Um, uh, cool. Not a, not a terrible turn three. We're back at seven cards in hand. Our imps will have threshold, which is very good. We've got two twos for one. That's, uh, ah, oh, they're playing post. Blue-green post, hey? So they might actually have, like, condescends and stuff, or whatever. Power sinks. Power sinks will be the one. Is condescend legal? I wonder. All right. Lots of opts, and that's fine. We'll hit first. So if they're playing that, and we have this much mana, ah, uh, this many cards, sorry. I'm actually gonna go animate dead. Technically I should be getting rune scarred, because uh, rune scarred gets us animate dead. They didn't have a counter last turn. Yeah, Rune's God. They didn't have a counter last turn. They don't have it this turn. Clearly. Clearly. Told ya. <laughs> and then Rune's God Demon gets his animate dead. <laughs> this deck's great. Uh, this deck should definitely have more Buried Alives. Buried Alive is better than Frantic Search. You heard it here first. Uh, so this gets animate dead. And then we animate dead and there's a hole. <laughs> we did it, chat. And we can always flick in there's a hole too. <laughs> That's a pretty good turn four in Petty Dreadful. I'm not, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> he scooped. They drew one card and then they scooped. Uh, alright, so we want Duress. I'm not really sure what they've got in there. I think we'll go with the miscasts. I think we can go a little lighter on reanimation effects, because we just kind of want one to resolve. And then... Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Um... We can probably cut... Actually, we want to be fast to get under their... Under their stuff. So maybe we go hapless researchers out. Uh, frantic search out. I think that's fine. I think we've got enough main deck uh, reanimation targets. Yeah. All right. So this time, I'm definitely gonna. Actually, no, because now they've got. They've likely got grave hate, so. Mm -hmm. So it's hard, chat. 
This might be a mulligan. If we don't find animate dead, then this hand doesn't really do anything. It does have card selection, so I'll keep it. Oh, they're mulliganing to four. Looking for lantern, I guess. Expecting us to scoop to lantern. Maybe? I don't know. You could definitely play around Lantern. Alright, so. Let's just start like this. We'll just play Luteron 2. Um, we might Frantic Search on 3. Hoping for Buried Alive 2. Hoping to find an Animate Dead so we can then uh, Buried Alive Animate oh, Okay, well now we just have it. Uh, so they have one mana, so they could miscast. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so we can't play around miscast, but I think it's still correct. I think it's still correct. And we do the same thing. Uh, yeah. I guess we could also... Nah, that's that's card disadvantage. Although, if we tap one... Nah, then... Yeah, card disadvantage. I think we actually just play Nezahol here. Rather than Rune's Guard. Just because we can protect it. And I think protecting it's very good. <laughs> Because then they still have to deal with a 7-7. Seven, seven. I wanted to put Inkwell Leviathan in, but I couldn't find a slot for it. This is probably a matchup where Inkwell, Inkwell Leviathan would be quite good. Uh, so, we want to keep protection up, so I'm just going to play Looter and keep the land in hand. It's unfortunate that because of the minus one, they're actually on a four turn clock instead of a three turn clock, but it is what it is. I don't think it's worth just spewing three cards just to get one turn off the clock, especially because we have to spew three cards immediately. All right, what is it? Garuk. I'll draw a card. Make a beast. Yeah. So that's going to give them time. That is going to give them time. Uh, Putrid Imp's not great. We'll start with a loot. Uh, we can get rid of uh, Dismal Backwater. May as well opt now. Don't need a swamp. Got a Dismal Backwater. That's fine. Um, I think it's worthwhile playing this out, just because the better our card selection going through the next turns, uh, the better we will be. They're down to two cards in hand. Um, I mean, they're going to block either way, so let's hit face. I guess they might not block, they might be wanting to get three beasts. <laughs> yeah. This not having flying is a reasonable annoyance, I suppose. But as a first thing to get down, just because it's got the protection and um, and draws us cards, I think it's definitely worthwhile. Yeah. Give us the fact or fiction. Uh, Alright. Interesting. Interesting. I think we just go... These spells, or the flip boy, I think that's fine. So they took the spells. I didn't want to give them um, a boreal grazer and lands. So 
Nice. Lots of lands here. Not ideal, but we've got two looters. 22 lands. It's not that many, <laughs> but we seem to be playing as though we are. Uh... Alright, so they're playing... Getting their posts out. That's fine. I wonder what the blue is really for. Is it just for card advantage? Or... Down to one card in hand. Hopefully we can uh, find a reanimation spell <laughs> amongst these lands. That's a good one to have around. Although they're going to have a lot of mana now. Ugh. Uh, I guess that's fine, actually. What am I... What am I... Uh, All right. We'll just cast it. Uh, we will get... Rune's Guard Demon. Six six flies are reasonably good. Um, and we will grab a animate dead. I don't expect a kind of board wipe from them. They kinda of have to block this one. Unfortunately we can't cast the miscast, but I doubt it would have been particularly useful here. They don't have a million mana yet. They kind of need Hour of Promise to get a million mana. Well, they had Hour of Promise, uh, so <laughs> they now have a million mana. But they don't have any other cards in hand, so... I think we're okay, chat. Okay, so they gained a bunch of life, which makes a lot of sense. They make a beast. So they're gonna have one more draw step, essentially. I really think these miscasts should probably be memory lapse. But we'll find out. Um, I guess we can play Island. May as well do this now. Oh, we could steal that Badoka Gardener. <laughs> this is them on a multi four, mind you. So they have done pretty well. Um, I mean, yeah, if they put a rune scout in <laughs> like that. Okay. Yeah, sure. Unfortunately, this is the only other buried alive, but I think that's fine. I think we take this. Double miscast might be reasonably good. Uh, attack. Attack. We have eight cards in hand. Ah, oh, you have reach. Damn, you are Boreal Grazer. Hey, Marin. Um, so, I'm gonna cast you. We'll happily get rid of this. We can get rid of this. One, two, three. Now we can go Dark Ritual. <laughs> this deck is sick. Animate dead. <laughs> and we got double miscast just in case they have some big X spell this is kind of what I wanted with this deck just like chaining reanimations together <laughs> uh, I think this one gets us there's no point in duress because they've got one one spell uh, one draw so, this one gets us animate dead, sure. Seems fine. Ah, uh, and play the Putrid Imp, of course play the Putrid Imp. This is probably worse than just having Exile on this active, but it's got a, it's a 2-2, two -two and I can give it flying, which is actually reasonably relevant. <laughs> Alright, they're one draw step, how was it? Oh, it's a, it's a spell. 
It appears to be a spell. Soul Guide landed <laughs> right on time. Uh, yeah, that's fine. They can take our runes, God Demon. Oh, they took the Dread Return. I guess we could have Dread Returned with the Putrid Imp to uh, get another Rune Scarred Demon, but I think it's fine. They're drawing a card, makes sense. Still in Scrying, sure. <laughs> that gets them potentially another Glimmer Post, I suppose. And then they gain four, go to seven, but we have a lot. We have a lot. I believe this is a lot of flying power. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> oh, they, they are asking me to help them out. It should auto report. Uh, let me double check. Unless. Yeah. Uh, cool. Let's go into game three. Get, get game three. When this deck is good, it's great. When it's not so good, it's, it's really not so good. I should probably drop from the league and switch to four Buried Alive, because Buried Alive is definitely what wins us the games. The deck could potentially be mono black. <laughs> it definitely could potentially be mono black. <laughs> Actually, Mono Black Reanimator might be sick. You just, um... Have four Putrid Imp, four Duress, four... Four, uh, four Thoughtseize. Four, um... Dark Rit. Four Animate Dead. Runescard Demons. Runescard Demon is such a value reanimation target. It's so good. I definitely think Runescard Demon is a much better reanimation target than Pathraiser of Ulamog. Just because if they have one piece of removal, you don't automatically have zero cards in hand. You now have the exact card. Yeah, it's weekend stream time. How you going, Numenor? I'm tempted to um, essentially just run two leagues of this deck because this deck is everything I want to do in life. <laughs> I wish Blue Black Reanimator was still good in Legacy. I'd play the shit out of Blue Black Reanimator. But now it's all red black. I could definitely see in the sideboard of this deck actually one Sire of Insanity. Top forward PDS with bug midrange. That is hype. Chuck us a list link and I'll have a look see. I want to see the bug midrange. Where'd everyone go? Everyone's scared of my reanimation. Alright, let's uh join theirs and jump out of mine. Oops. It's on the web. Yeah, but I'm streaming. Can you link me, please? <laughs> uh, God, we're really good at drawing a lot of lands. I think this one's a mull. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, mono black reanimator? That's what we were just talking about, right? Nah. Alright, this has not gone well. So I'm keeping probably the worst of the hands. All right, we're on the play as well, which kind of sucks, but. Land. I 
I'm jealous of the land. <laughs> hey, we got there. Future to Imp is an excellent magic card when it facilitates turn one big thing. I don't care what you say. Also, it's a 2-2 two -two that can get flying. 2-2 two -two flyer for one, that's pretty good. Disregard the discard a card effect. Oh no. Alright, it's fine. We've got a looter and a dream. A looter and a dream, chat. Yeah, but sometimes you want a raven's crime yourself. But it's a raven's crime that's free. Um, well, if we draw a big thing here, that's sick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, why am I in beginning combat? What the heck? How did I end up in beginning combat? Alright, I'm scared. They got Thoughtseize bugged. They put put it back on top. Um, now, here, I honestly think I might get a land off, off this bad boy. That can't be right, surely. I'm worried they just discard again, though, is my issue. And land opens up our hand. Uh, land feels really bad, though. It feels like the wrong thing. Yeah, let's get animated. Let's get animated. We've got Luda. Luda in a dream. I thought that was gonna happen. That's why I wanted to land. <laughs> Although that they have now just put another animate dead on top of our deck, so that's pretty good. Buried alive is not what we're after. Land is. Frantic search looking bad as kind of always. I feel like the frantic searches just aren't very necessary in this deck. We'll get one of each of these. I'm not expecting main deck graveyard hate, but I mean it's possible. They still have to deal with a 5-6 flyer. Up from them. Searching for an answer. I'm sure that they've got Harless Act or whatever. Now Nezzer Hole is going to be worse than normal if we end up being able to reanimate it, but it is what it is. Is there a creature that lets us return cards from our graveyard to our hand? Uh, like a big one. Eh, Rune Scar Demon is not really what we're after. Swamp's nice. Was my favorite three color combo or three card combo? <laughs> I assume you mean three color combo. I'd say. Tyrant Scorn. Well, that's annoying. We do have the Dread Returns unlocked here. Um, hmm, it's hard. It's very hard. Oh, jeez. You could, could have linked it in stream, but it's fine. Um, probably. Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna do this. Hmm, here I think we can get rid of land. Actually, they're playing Terramander. That's a bit scary. Um, probably Jeskai or yeah. Uh, actually. So if we end up with a land, we can just cast the fatty next turn? Nah, I don't think that's worthwhile. I think we do this. Two, three. We're just looking for our... Looking for our dread returns. Uh, Jeskai or Rug 
are generally my favorites, but I also do quite like Sultai. No, it's fine. I, I've, I found it. Um, I, I already got it. It looks pretty sick. I like everything that's going on here. Two Mindbenders, two Elder Deep Fiends, Hostage Taker, that's sick. Atris is always cool. End of the God Eternals is legal. That's fun. What does the finality half do again? Uh, put two plus one plus one counters on creatures you control, then all creatures you control. Then all creatures get minus one. Ah, oh, okay. So it's like a semi wrath. I mean, they got a big thing. We might not be getting there. We did mull to five. And they had uh, double discard. <laughs> so. Ah. 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 <laughs> Alright, we found our lands. Gonna hold everything in hand now. I do like Abzan. I don't know, I, I really like all of them to be honest. I don't I don't particularly like Mardu. Mardu doesn't do much for me. Spring Bloom Druid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Harrow on a stick is cool, at the very least. Alright, so we died. Well that sucks. Uh dear. <laughs> That's unfortunate. How did we draw so many lands there? Right, so we can do this. Um, I'm guessing they're not playing Terramander until it's relevant. I don't think it's worth bringing in Soul Guide Lanterns. Uh, you looked bad. I think against them we're going to need all eight things. I think our main deck reanimation suite is fine here. Um, ah, yeah, that's fair. And you probably shouldn't play Thornling. <laughs> uh, Dark Ritual seems important. We'll get rid of the Hapless Researchers. I haven't seen them all game yet, but that's fine. Um, maybe we can trim one Dread Return, because four mana sorceries are going to be difficult to resolve. And one. I really want the Putrid Imps. Fuck it, opt. We really want turn one. Dark Rit. Stuff. Ah. Uh, this is. No, wait, no, this doesn't do anything, really. Hey, I mean, it's turn three. It's, it's potentially not good enough. Uh, so let's just do this. It might not be good enough, but we'll see. <laughs> Anguished Unmaking. I like I like Vindicate more. Ah, <laughs> oh, where were you last turn? Eh, yeah, turn two is fine. Oh shit! I did the wrong thing. Fuck. <laughs> I pressed the wrong card. I meant to dark root there. That's fine. It's actually potentially not fine at all. Now they're gonna steal our anime dead. This is very. That was a big punt. That was a massive punt. Yeah. Now they go thought erasure. No. Ugh. I guess now we don't have to dark root at least. We do if we want to loot. Flavor function. <laughs> the best story in magic. I don't know any stories in magic. So, that's that's where I'm coming from. Alright, this is getting counted. Man, I really wish we'd done it last turn when they were tapped out. Memory lapse is okay. I'm alright with memory lapse. Although it does mean that we're likely to get memory lapsed every turn for the rest of the game. Whenever there's one memory lapse, there's four memory lapses. <laughs> as we have learned. You know entirely too much about the law. That's fair. I've just never, never really cared. Here's Terramander. With enough mana for a memory lapse. Alright, we're going to get out-tempoed by a blueback tempo deck. All because I punted and misclicked. 
Oh, we drew an enemy dead. Amazing. Yep. Wherever there's one, there's more. Somehow I don't think they're gonna block. <laughs> oh yeah, spirit mug is legal. Yeah, Thornling doesn't seem amazing. I mean, I guess indestructible is reasonable. They actually blocked. I'm quite, quite surprised and entirely okay with that trade. <laughs> All right, rage time. Good luck, Siren. Good luck. Frantic inventory. They're looking for a land, I'm guessing. I think Animate Dead just uh, goes and gets another Animate Dead. We're probably getting rid of this. Yeah. Yeah. They likely have a kill spell, but we have another anime dead. Gonti number two or Atris number three, though. Yeah, I mean, Gonti is really quite powerful. They are searching for Lance. They have conceded the game. All right. I'm okay with that, considering we kind of... We, we punted and didn't have the best of hands. Yeah, run it back. On the draw, we really want to f go quick. Like, really want to go quick. That's, that's not going quick. Oh, this hand with... It's not worth it. All right, this hand is acceptable, but definitely not good. I think we just have to get rid of both the dark rituals. <laughs> this isn't the fast hand we wanted. My thoughts is Gonti number two. Did you not think about this list too hard when I made it? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it. you did well, you top forward. I mean, it's a good list. You've got a lot of creatures that serve multiple purposes. Uh, which is pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so they can exile cards. Which is unfortunate. But they do need multiple mana to do so. Um, I guess, I guess we wait, I think we wait, you four won your first league with it a while ago and didn't know what I wanted to play today, so you grabbed it, that's fair, it seems like a fun deck, <laughs> your favorite is when opponents side in duress, yeah, I don't feel like duress would be too, too stellar against you, all right, take two. We'll draw this card. Putrid Imp, hey? That's not really worthwhile. We essentially need... <laughs> well, there's another one. All right, get rid of the Imps. We're looking for a Buried Alive, really? I believe. I believe. Or just a lot of... The, oh my gosh, not a lot of lands. That's not what we're after. <laughs> Jesus. We're so good. This deck only has 22 lands. And we seem to either get none or all. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. 
Alright, I think we're we're gonna lose this one. Our opponent's deck is Okay. Interesting. Thanks, opponent, I guess. I mean our out is potentially just casting Nezahol. hole. We probably should have cut one Runescard Demon. Yeah, we definitely should have cut a Runescard Demon for a Nezahol. Um, yeah, so we're looking for double reanimation spell. Slash just being able to cast. We're actually going to take lands from here on out. We're at five already. They haven't done a whole lot of damage. Frantic inventory. Turf goal mana faces. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, 22 lands is not a heap. <laughs> 24 is like a good amount if you want to cast three drops on time. So 22 <laughs> should be acceptable considering our deck. But, ooh, Knife Elf Spectre is interesting. Holding up Timurant mana the entire time. Oh, Dread Return. That's not the one we wanted. Okay. Now it's good. Oh no, we don't have enough black! <laughs> no! <laughs> I didn't even think of the black. Shit. Oh, they also preemptively got rid of things. Alright, well, we died. We died. I punted the game. I thought we had enough black. And we weren't finding this hole. Sideboarded incorrectly there as well. Uh, PD practice. That's not what we're after. Yeah, so I punted that game and sideboarded incorrectly. And the opponent played... Wait, this is not... Ah. Oh. Concede. Uh, we've played them, unfortunately. I mean, they've got a lot of good interaction, so I can understand why they're why they're becoming popular. I think I didn't focus my deck well enough. It should definitely have four, uh, four Buried Alives. Probably zero Frantic Searches. And one more Hapless Researcher. I think that would be better. <laughs> That's fair, Numenor. 1045 is early. <laughs> it's early. Does anybody else have a league game? I've already played Pirovato, unfortunately, so I can't just jump back in there. What are we, 2 and 1 currently? Yeah. Oh, 1 2, sorry. 1 2, that's even worse. <gasps> that's much worse. Come on, games! Come on, games! I stream early on the weekend so this doesn't happen. <laughs> I guess I'm not streaming early enough. Hey, there we go. Uh, it's the same guy, so they might not have um, gotten a league yet. I'm telling them you need to join the league. It's annoying when people do that. Yeah, the Chaos Draft, 
I would much prefer the Chaos Draft if it was you only played people from the pod, same pod, because it's kind of very random at times. I gotta wake up at four in the morning. Well, I don't know. I the I did a stream yesterday from like uh, ten a.m. my time, so that's like eight p.m. for most of you guys, or six p.m. or something. Um, and it was pretty quiet, so I don't know. Although it was a Friday for you guys, so I could do six a.m. Clearly, I get up at six a.m. And then, uh, uh, what's, what's like the best time zone to use that all Americans understand reasonably well? <laughs> Is it PST? You have t too many time zones, way too many time zones over there to cater to. An unbelievable red black deck yeah I played against a red black essentially affinity deck they had cr uh, cranial plating and then all of these good artifacts <laughs> I was like what the heck <laughs> they must have gotten uh, I, I saw at least um, is it dark steel that cranial platings from or is it uh, fifth thorn yeah so they they had fifth thorn New Phyrexia or whatever, one of the one of the new Phyrexia sets, um, and then something else, I'm not sure. Oh wait, they had Kaladin. Yeah, they had three artifact sets at least. <gasps> EST. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What would if I did a six AM stream, that'd be four PM Eastern time. 4 PM the day before. Everyone understands EST or PST. Fair enough. And it'll be 1 p.m. Pacific time. But then, when do people want to watch is the real question. Do they want to watch in the afternoon? In the evening? During the day? I don't know. Alright. This is getting a bit crazy. What is set roulette? There's so many games. But none for me. <laughs> That's fine, Nimino. I was kind of asking rhetorically maybe I should just pull up some uh, some melee while I wait for a game <laughs> just multi game stream all right we got I'm pretty sure I've played this guy before and they actually have uh, leagues set up yay we have a game we have dark ritual buried alive Unfortunately, this is Dread Return and not Animate Dead, but this is definitely still a keep. If they play Blue Land first, then I think we just straight up turn one Dark Rit Buried Alive. Because uh, Counter Magic sucks. Not a big fan of Counter Magic. You know what this deck needs? This deck needs Force of Will, I say with four black cards in my hand. <laughs> I want to play Legacy, but I also don't want to spend a bunch of money on Legacy. <laughs> Slash increasing my loan account. Oops. Alright, that's a blue land. This looks like Tempo. Set rule let is a format that selects six random sets through magic history, and then that's the format for a week. Happens once a month, done by Mythic Society. Oh, that's... That's cool. That's very cool. Alright. We'll do our typical three. We could potentially just go 
three rune scout demons. Try to get them that way, but I think that's fine. What even is Mythic Society? I've never heard of them. Uh, <laughs> apparently it's an Indian thing as well. Ooh, that's, that's not a bad one. Oh, they run pre-modern as well. That's fair. I actually want to run my own. I want to. I want a sub goal. <laughs> yes, I'm terrible, but I want to sub goal a. Uh... Oh, this is just gates. Okay, cool. I think we beat gates. I presume we're going to be fast enough to beat gates. Ooh, finally! That's the first time we've seen that. Uh, yeah. Get rid of these. Untap these. We could almost, almost dread return from the bin. Uh, we're gonna keep that. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Let's just use my. All right. Double, double dismal. <laughs> Hopefully, we can find a um, find an untapped land, and then fact or fiction. Nah, I guess we get the alright. They do pre-modern and few for, pe fewer people play pre-modern. Yeah, I haven't seen many pre-modern games, but I've seen a couple. Oh, there are magic store that runs tournaments. Oh, that's that's fun. Unfortunate. Uh yeah. Get him for two. One mana two twos, pretty good. I've heard that apparently Brainstorm is likely to be legal. Oh yeah, sorry. I wanted to do a sub goal for a PD tournament with cash prize. Um, and essentially just whatever my income is from subs, put that into a monthly tournament prize. Because I'm not, I'm not streaming for money. <laughs> this is not how I'm making my money. Uh, all right, they're tapped out, so we will. Do we want a fact or fiction or rune scout demon? I guess we rune scout demon. We do have to win reasonably quickly here. They're already at one, two, three, four, five, six, six gates. Yeah, I'm hoping. I hear Brainstorm's gonna be legal for the first time ever. Um, if it is, I'm gonna play nothing but Poor Blade. Oh wait, Balance is gonna be legal? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh, Gates of Blaze. Alright, that's fine. It just means we get more. So next turn we can double. Alright. I think we're losing this first game because we are uh, we're a bit slow. But I do believe in our capabilities of winning this matchup. Uh yeah, that's plus two. So that actually lets us uh go. Rune Scar Demon. Animate dead. Rune Scar Demon. So we're just trying to get lethal here. Animate dead. Rune Scar Demon Nezahol. Now they're probably gonna another Gates of Blaze, but I don't think. I think they were only running two. Ma if they're using Caleb's list, I think they're only running like two main deck. <laughs> Brainstorm, Git Probe, Treasure Cruise, Ancient Stereos, Corvinex Dart, Tron Lands. Oh my lord. This is going to be a very interesting one. Interesting season. So they've got eight now, so they don't kill us next turn. Because it's on upkeep, right? Maze's End is on upkeep. 
Um, ah, oh, true. I, I had a, I had a mere battle sphere, but I took it out, uh, because I just wanted to rune scar chain. That was the plan, was just rune scar chain. But yeah, thinking of its, um, combo with mere battle sphere is actually quite relevant. Do they die? That is the question. Yeah. Yeah, I can can definitely see me a battlesphere being quite good. Yes! We did it. All right. So against gates. We want them. Pretty sure that's basically all we want. I think that's all we want. We can get rid of these. One of you. Alright. Go. I would like to get the nuts just once in this league. Just once. Let me turn one reanimate. Off putrid imp, dark red, animate dead. Which Narset? Three mana, shitty Nars, annoying Narset, or like one of the cooler ones? And that card that reads cycling is no longer playable. <laughs> uh, it's a bit slow, but it's capable. We've got a little bit of interaction. Land there is not what we're after. And very unlikely. Alright. Gates Blaze secured us route. Uh, I think we take their ramp. I think on the whole, Gates of Blaze isn't going to be that good if we can do what we want. You're going to spend all your time building degenerate balance decks. Well, that's just rude, hey? That's just rude. I wonder if there's going to be... Is there an orb? Oh, okay, three mana shitty Narset. That's annoying. I'm not going to enjoy playing against that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Zuranol plus balance is going to be very annoying, I'd say. These lands... Alright, we're, we're going down to 20. 20 lands from now on. In all of my decks. Every single last one of them. Uh, Runescar... Do we just go, like, triple Runescar? We have a lot of mana. I definitely think we go double rune scar here. Yeah, 20, no matter what I'm playing, 20 lands is appropriate because I will draw them. Balance stretch. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> blue white balance. Do we have any wheels? Are there going to be any wheel effects with Narset? Balance wheel, Narset. Although that would be terrible because they don't draw any extra cards. <laughs> and so you just discard your hand after you wheel. <laughs> no, they found another circuitous route. Alright, so next turn we swamp and just put two runes guards out. I think that's the plan. Although they have a gate to blaze now, so... So that's not actually a particularly good plan, after all. Jesus, this is kind of nuts. Uh, so we force them to do it like this. Nezahol just discard, yeah? Cool. So they do get to gate to blaze us. We're just going to go for Nezahol. And then we can discard three lands. You know, one, two, three, four, five gates. So I do need to play a gate in order to do it, but that's not hard for the gates deck. 
uh, diminishing returns. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be annoying. Diminishing returns. Just now said diminishing returns. It's fine. That's some good quality magic. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they can't actually kill Nezahol here, so you don't have to discard any cards, which means they likely won't actually Gates Ablaze. They will block, though, I imagine. What are they doing? Ah, Orem's Chant. Gross. All right. Gross. Very gross. Not a fan. Um, alright, so... I guess next time the gates are blazing. Um... Do we want to animate a rune scarred? No. Nah, that's fine. We'll just play a backwater. Yeah. Although, will we have... Yeah, Force of Will is not the fun police. The fun police is Chalice. <laughs> uh, Force of Will is a necessary card. Oh, Delver's gonna be illegal. Delver Terramander decks will be quite fun, I think. Alright, two more gates. This exile's till end of turn, correct? Yes. Perfect. Like, Legacy would be probably the least fun format if Force of Will didn't exist. And instead, it's now the most fun format. <laughs> Alright. So let's do this. Let's discard Island, Nezahal, Runescard Demon. Draw a card. Lose Runes Guard Demon. Get our 7-7 seven, seven back. Not terrible. Unfortunately, we can't have two Nether Holes on the field. <laughs> I wouldn't mind two Nether Holes, actually. Uh, but now we can go animate dead. Actually, let's just use our mana. Runes guard and go get animate dead. <laughs> um, did we want to make lethal then? Nah, that's fine. Well, Force of Will is the fun police in the way that it prevents people from getting away with horribly degenerate nonsense. <laughs> Except the, yeah, yeah. Is this upkeep? No, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so they're likely to get a... Now they have eight. So we might just get to kill them, unless they have another one. Okay. So I think that means we might be losing. So they have eight, they get to untap, get nine. No. So it just... Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So they untap, they get a ninth, we hit them. And unless they can somehow get one at instant speed, so growth spiral on end step or something. So we can definitely lose this, but we haven't lost it yet. They can also have like Orem's Chance or something. So we should have presented lethal last turn. I should have reanimated another one. That was my B. Uh, but this is how we've got it. This is where we're at. Get a gate. That puts them at nine. Does, wait, does Maze's End trigger at upkeep or does do you have to just activate it? I forget. <laughs> you might just have to activate it. For some reason, I thought it triggered an upkeep. Ah, oh, they've got Gross Spiral. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. And there's nothing we can do. So, I punted that game. 
because yeah return me into its own hand search for a gate card then shuffle you okay yeah yep 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 it's on the activation um i think that's i think we're fine here yeah i'd say so we did win that game i just punted I misunderstood how Maze's End actually works. For some reason, I thought it was on upkeep. Hands not amazing, but definitely playable. Start with Island. Make him scared. Scared. That's better. That definitely improves the hand. We might just Sphinx of Thune. Nah, probably not. We probably want to leave this until we can go off with it. So we'll draw and discard, because it doesn't hurt. Yeah, get rid of you. Play you. Buried alive. Um. So we'll go Rune Scarred, Rune Scarred, Nezahol. Yeah, I understand it's 10 different games, but uh, it was more just I misunderstood Maze's End as a win con. For some reason, I thought it was one of those where at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 gates, then you can do X. They could have counter magic here, which would be rather annoying. Uh, but... We didn't come here not to go for it. This is not a coward's stream. Uh, enemy dead. They didn't have it that time, so let's do it again. Definitely want Nezahol here. <laughs> That's such a sick... <laughs> sick play. Uh, we'll attack. We'll attack. Doesn't hurt. I don't think we desperately need this rune scar demon in the bin so and we have nezahol to put it in the bin so we're fine four gates that's fairly far away from gates ablaze they could secure this route no actually they can't really secure this route into gates ablaze can they uh yeah we'll attack for 12 Now we still very much have lethal, so we're not going to play anything else. I think this is correct. Our opponent somehow needs to wipe our board, um, except that wiping our board won't, we'll still have them dead to Nezahol. So I think we have won the game. Nezahol is sick. I don't understand. Like, I saw a couple of reanimated decks that weren't playing Nezahol, and I think Nezahol is really good. <laughs> Being able to protect yourself and protect your reanimation target just with your reanimation target is, is really cool. Grass Spiral's fine. Not a problem. Now we don't have to get rid of Dread Return to protect Nezahol. I'm a big fan. Hey! Suck it, Caleb. <laughs> I know that wasn't Caleb, but suck it, Caleb. <laughs> you and your Maze's End. Now everybody plays Maze's End. <laughs> I believe this is now going to be our last, our last game with uh, the deck. The Penny Dreadful site seems to potentially be down, which would be annoying. Yeah, I think Penny Dreadful's down. Let's see if people are talking about it in code. No. No. 
G'day, Bong Seizure. <laughs> That's an interesting username you've got. <laughs> yeah, Nezol in, like, blue mirrors would be <laughs> very, very fun. How you going, Bong Seizure? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the name just kind of <laughs> gets me. Ah, oh, you're Finkel Einhorn. Good to see you, Finkel. You crushed us. After the after the little uh, getting ready to lose to you, you just destroyed me. <laughs> Can someone check if the um, Penny Dreadful website's down for them as well? Because it appears to not be working for me. Ah, oh, never mind. The uptime robot just posted. Penny Dreadful Magic is down. Okay. That makes sense. Pretty sure this is going to be the last game anyway. Of this set. Alright. If somebody joins. <laughs> Amazing. Finkel. Mind as sharp as attack. Oh, what gave it away? I was like, what? What have it away? <laughs> hey, Crazy Baloth. I enjoy playing Crazy Baloth. I think I probably have a losing record versus Crazy Baloth, but I'm not 100% sure on that. The name strikes fear into my heart. Uh, maybe we need more reanimation targets. I don't think I can punt this, but it does make Putrid Imp look like a bad magic card. <laughs> this swamp looks like culling dais. Uh, yeah, sure, just back Don't need to show them what we have. Don't need to play a putrid imp on curve, just for the sake of it. Hopefully, they don't have discard. Ooh, this could be a reanimation. Hey, Ewan. Hey. Oh, you know what? Now I really wish I'd played that uh imp on turn one. It would have been really good. It might be a bad magic card on its own, but as a synergistic magic card, it does its job well. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. We'll do this. And this. Nice. Uh, here, I'm actually just gonna get buried alive. I think that's correct, because we can just buried alive and then um, great return. Next, you guys will say hapless researcher is a bad card, which I will never hear. Hapless researcher is the legacy staple. <laughs> Look, Imp is good in cube, so it's good in this. That That's good to know, Ewan. <laughs> I think I just found your Twitter, Ewan. That's a damn good... <laughs> your dog is very cute. Ah, uh, cool. Imp is great in cube. You're lying, Numenor. Imp lets you shallow grave. They're missing land drops, which is rather unfortunate for them. Uh, do the use. The one of each. We'll see what we got here. We could hit Dark Rit. Um, get rid of it. 
Imp lets us dread return. I don't ex... They could just win next turn, which would suck, but... Maybe that's... Maybe they intentionally just went to discard. Alright, no Piranha Marsh means we're not just dead. Okay. Uh, do they have a... Uh, a fireball? Are they just doing doing it this way? Uh, where am I going? Fireball. <laughs> I don't know how he beat this. I guess Soul Guide Lantern. Soul Guide Lantern. We'll do it. I suppose. Who who would have thought reanimated battle? Yeah, I know they're gonna make infinite mana, but they also need to make they need to have an instant speed fireball to kill me with instant mana. So I need I need to see the win con. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want to know, what, what the kill spell is. Because they can't stop this. Wait, I don't... Why do I... PD says I don't have a valid league run. Did we already play 5? I feel like we did not play 5. Let me... How do we look at our... Uh... Up here? How do you... No... Uh, game history. Limited is not what I want. Here we go. Freeform. Today. One. Oh. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah. I should have an active league run. Now we can come back and see what's going on. And see what happened. Oh, thanks for the follow, Finkel. Oh, cheers. Been getting in some rounds with PD High Tide. Goldfish it while sli slightly. High Tide in PD isn't a particularly difficult deck. I can message PD bot too. But, like, shouldn't it. If PD bot is telling me I don't have an active league run, why? Because I've only done four games with the deck. Oh, they hit my... That's right, they can end it that way. I forgot that they could end it with my graveyard. <laughs> wow. Our rune scouts are so bad in this matchup. <laughs> we let them tuna. Alright. Let's find out what the kill spell is, and then we can... Move on. Alright. They said, whoops, cut that card from my board. I don't know what that means. Yeah, this should be my last match. But I was I was planning on playing another deck, but this one has taken a little while to get uh, pairings. So, What are they doing? I just want to know. Are they going to dragon storm me now? <laughs> They're going to play a world gorgia. Okay, there's the dragon storm. <laughs> yeah, we had to two. Uh, I mean, I don't know what that. Yeah, right. I can, I can safely concede here. Um, <laughs> interesting. So, against them, we definitely want these. 
typically their fastest uh, I don't want to overboard so we want these as well we can get rid of since everyone hates but we need to be fast so <laughs> everyone hates my putrid imps though uh, rinse guards really bad to just sit in our bin unfortunately but I don't think that means we get rid of it we can probably go alright since since you hate putrid imps I'll get rid of putrid imps and one of you and not Since everyone hates them. Ah. PD bot doesn't know who I am. So I need to message PD bot. doesn't <laughs> I don't know if PD bots working properly at the moment all right so we got soul guide lantern we don't have a whole lot else so we're gonna mull man this hand would be great if this was animate dead and this was putrid imp <laughs> uh, here I think we actually want to do Sphinx? Yeah. Get rid of an Ezra Hall. Main phase opt. See what we've got. Uh, I will take a duress, actually. We they're definitely the faster faster reanimation deck. To be honest, when I played Red Black Reanimator, or Double Dragon, rather, uh, that deck seemed really, really sick. <laughs> the problem is I can't link uh, my MTGO to my Penny Dreadful, well, to my Discord at the moment, because the website's down. A little bit annoying. Dark Red Kling, Piranha Marsh World Gotcha. Ugh. I don't think they're gonna be wanting to escape this anytime soon, and we need them to not interact with us. <laughs> so, if we get five lands, we can straight up cast Sphinx of Uthun. There's one Piranha Marsh. Land is not ideal. We do need to find a discard outlet. If only I didn't cut all those, uh, <laughs> all of the good old fashioned thingy mob ups. Putrid imps. There's Merchant of the Vale. They've drawn a mountain. Playing Merchant of the Vale. Damn you! Why are you f from your graveyard? Well, we're going to be able to cast a uh, Sphinx of Uthun next turn. That wasn't the plan. Looks like we're going 2-3. <laughs> we just consistently got flooded this entire league. <laughs> yep. Alright. It's time. Huzzah! <laughs> it's fact or fiction. This is how we cast fact or fiction in this deck. 
So I guess we take Buried Alive? I don't know. This, these are reasonably difficult piles, actually. Yeah, it's Foff. Good old Foff on a stick. Alright, Duress Buried Alive versus these. I'm going to take Duress Buried Alive. To be honest, we don't really want to just, like, chuck things into our bin. <laughs> With 18 land control. <laughs> yep. I can see it. It'll... No one else will be able to replicate it. <laughs> 18 land control consistently playing rats and... <gasps> five mana spells. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm just complaining, but, I don't know, I do seem to draw lands a substantial, substantially higher amount of time than I would expect from the kinds of decks I'm running. Because I'm not drawing that many extra cards, right? <laughs> I'm getting, like, a couple of extras. But I'm consistently hitting... Land drops to turn seven. Um, up until in in a twenty two land deck. <laughs> All right. What are they doing? Dragon storm's not a instant, so that's something. What are they doing? Killing this somehow. If they kill that, I'm kind of... Ah. Oh. Well. We couldn't hit that one anyway. And we do have a 5-6. <laughs> but we're reasonably low. Alright, so they're down to Swamp. It's good to know. I guess we play you. We can't attack. They've got two reasonable draws. They get to draw or discard. Well, discard draw, sorry. So they get to kind of look at three cards here. So yeah, now we can't attack. This is a bit dangerous. We could wait till next turn, I suppose. Uh, we'll have plenty of mana next turn. So we want to get two, two runes guards and a Nezzer hall. Drawing extra cards doesn't actually work out that you see less lands. No, no, no. That you see. I'm not quite sure what you're saying, Numenor. I was saying like, if we're drawing extra cards, then the likelihood we see lands, like we hit land drops is fine. I'm surprised they played that, actually. I don't feel like that's particularly necessary. Um, whereas, we're not drawing that many cards, but we're hitting lands until turn 7. That That's actually sick, and we have precisely enough. Uh, yeah. Take the cling. Just because I'd like them to use it. They're getting rid of our dread return. That's a okay. So now we go dread return. Rune scarred. Now we kind of have a choice here. Do we leave up soul guide? Oh wait, no, that doesn't cost a mana. For some reason I thought the sacrifice effect cost a mana too. <laughs> so we take World Gorger and then get a bunch of extra cards and extra mana. We do, right? This is just good. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is this is just good. 
Uh, and then, <laughs> God, cling, get rid of cling. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this once more. I don't think we're gonna do a whole bunch because we, we'll just deck ourselves. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a weird game. <laughs> I think, I think getting all of our effects twice will be enough. <laughs> uh, so then we'll just get rune scarred so they can't. Uh, and then we can get rid of this. Yeah. <laughs> Triggers. Uh. I guess we get a, uh, let's get Dread Return just because we have a bunch of floating mana and it's the worst of the reanimation spells. We also get to get <laughs> more cards. Uh, they've got one card in hand, so Duress is probably good. I mean, it's probably not amazing, but we got it. So here we want to take whichever pile has Runescard Demon, so they can't, uh, I mean, I guess we could put it on the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it on the battlefield. <laughs> this deck should have World Gorge and Dragon in it, guys. Uh, Sphinx of a Thun. Uh... Yeah. Get rid of their cling. All right. Uh, <laughs> I guess. I guess first up we go dress you. <laughs> uh, what am I seeing? Merchant of the Veil. All right. Well, that's kind of a spell. Uh, thingy. Runes guard. We don't have infinite black here. Tutor. For animate dead. Animate dead. Runes guard. <laughs> this game is why we play PD. <laughs> You're so right. Enemy dead. Enemy dead. There's a hole. Oh, I, wrong one. <laughs> and pass. <laughs> I think. I think that. That's an acceptable turn. <laughs> well, that was enjoyable. We could still lose. We could definitely still lose. We're at 11. But Soul Guide helps keep us alive, I think. I'm hoping they didn't find another Bogarden Hellkite, because that could make things a bit annoying. We do have two more reanimation spells, so. <laughs> it was definitely correct to take their world, Gorgia. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to say that I'm quite certain it was correct to take World Gorgia. I really hope they don't have a Okay, they're searching their library for a card. So that means it's unlikely to be like a wrath from the sideboard. Mm. 
What did you get, opponent? Was it good? I think... I think I'm going to attack. So they have to block. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> You'll go, opponent. All right, we did it. Maybe we want a single resolute archangel, but uh, I think that's fine. <laughs> 20 cards deeper in your deck. <laughs> it was all thanks to their World Gorger Dragon, though. <laughs> if they didn't have a World Gorger in the bin, we quite likely could have lost that game. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it doesn't draw that much normally. <gasps> it's not my fault my opponent gave me two extra um, fact or fictions. This hand's... Uh, We've got opts and a dream. Um, I think I think this is a mulligan. What do you think, chat? Is this a mulligan? I think it's... I'm leaning towards a mulligan. But opts and a dream. Opts and a dream. Come on, chat. Tell me, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right, no one's talking. Mulligan. His hand's much worse, chat. Why'd you make me do that? <laughs> Blame chat. <laughs> I'm keeping it there. Dude, you don't know. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, goblins keep patrol. You would have kept. Yeah, I mean, too often a dream seems fine. It seemed a bit iffy though. The lantern was alright. I just feel like I should be proactive in this matchup because I can't. Soul Guide doesn't disrupt Dragonstorm, which is the actual better way they can beat me. Like, their World Gorger starts are good, sure, but I can interact with them better than I can interact with uh, Dragonstorm. Alright, well that's not what I wanted to really see. I guess that's okay. Piranha Marsh from them could mean turn 2 win. No. No turn 2 win. Uh, Duress is gross. Hopefully they don't take Frantic Search. If they take Frantic Search, I'm very sad. We can... Oh, they took frantic search. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, we can... I mean, last game we uh, we just got to turn 5 and cast a uh, Sphinx, right? So maybe it'll work again. I'm expecting Haggle. No? No Haggle? Okay, well... Uh, I'm definitely going to play you. Just get rid of the duress, it's fine. That makes me okay to World Gorger. Yeah, back on the fa <laughs> Foff on a stick. This card is cool. I like this card. Pirate's Pillage, interesting. Okay, sure. This is an interesting build of this double dragon deck I've seen. We're actually just going to cast Sphinx on turn 5 again. <laughs> this is so silly. Uh, cool. You can haggle. Getting rid of a land makes sense. Dress me. No! <laughs> They're going to take my Dark Ritual. <laughs> oh, they took Dread Return. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is A-OK. -okay. 
<laughs> Five, six, go. <laughs> Two games in a row, we just dark rip. <laughs> oh dear. I think they're likely to split up the animate deads. If they don't, we take whatever pile has two animate deads. Okay, they didn't split up the animate deads. We'll take two animate deads. You have a Bogarden Hellkite opponent. I would like that Bogarden Hellkite. God, can you imagine if we can Bogarden Hellkite, animate the Bogarden Hellkite, and then animate a World Gorgia from their bin? <laughs> and just play their deck for them? Come on. Yeah, taking return definitely seems not correct. Ah, they're making us crack our lantern. I mean, are they? Are they? They deal five to us, but that's not the end of the world. I think I think we don't take lantern here. We don't crack lantern. I think we can beat that. And if we can beat it, then we don't crack. Because they only deal five. So it doesn't kill our Sphinx. Mm, Duress is nice. I'm going to start with Opt just to see what's kind of going on. Nope. Double duress, hey. That could be okay. Yes, that is very good. We do not like to see Dragonstorm. They do have another Bogarden Hellkite, which kind of sucks. GG's. What's GG's? As in, because I let this happen? I mean, they can play another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can play it next turn. Ah, oh, I got him. <laughs> uh, Root Scout Demon. Do we animate dead one of our... <laughs> do we animate dead our Merfolk Looter? I, I don't think we do it yet, because they, they're going to play a uh, Bogart and Hellcat. But I definitely feel like we could. Or we could just draw a Dark Ritual and play it. <laughs> Apparently this is just a uh, blue-black ramp. Uh. <laughs> okay, they seem to be playing something as opposed to... Uh... No, they are waiting to flash it in. I definitely don't think we've won this game. Mostly because it's coming down to casting out things. And, uh, they've got more mana than us. Uh, soul Guide. That's fine. Yeah, it does actually seem pretty cool. I like it. Uh, sure. It really doesn't matter what we get rid of. This allows us to draw a card. Which I would like to do. Animate dead number three. I actually would have preferred a land there. <laughs> Pirate's Pillage is cool if you're trying to go for a bit of a, a longer game, I suppose. Yep. Hopefully they don't have animate dead. Uh, I guess we've got this, so it doesn't really matter. Because I imagine they're going to attack. Dispersal. Each opponent returns a non-land permanent they control with the highest converted mana cost. Oof. Oof. We died. <laughs> we died, chat. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's fine. We don't have any counter magic in the 
deck currently, so there's no point drawing a card. Whoa, what happened? There we go. Alright, so we went two and three. I think the deck could be uh, made better if we add more Putrid Imps. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, Frantic Search didn't feel worthwhile. I would have much preferred play Fact or Fiction. Granted, I was drawing a lot of lands, so that's why. Um, I would have much preferred just play more cheaper uh, enablers over Frantic Search. Um, Hapless Researcher, we didn't get to see. I like this card just in general, so <laughs> that's probably what I would have done. Um, we could go like two Putrid Imps just for the potential nut draw. I guess it's probably not worthwhile having it for the potential nut draw. Actually, all right, so what? Let's go. Let's see if I can make it how I want. Uh, hapless. I want two of them. Oops. Yeah, it did. It did feel like an evolution of the archetype. Frantic search. Buried alive. I learned that we should just be playing for buried alive. It was pretty much always the best card in the deck. Uh, and then that gives us space for two heartless acts. Actually, no, I'd rather memory. Memory lapse. And two main deck memory lapses. I think that's probably what I would run. I think this can get out. Uh, if we've got four, we only need one. So, yeah. I want one more, one battle sphere. Four buried alive gives us plenty of action uh, in our graveyard that we didn't have. We could potentially actually run three and three memory laps, but I don't know. I think I'd run it like this. I'd run the main deck like this to begin. I know what we can do. Minus one island. Plus one memory lapse. Because <laughs> we we know we don't need islands. There we go. Also, I, I don't know why <laughs> we have uh, 12 memory lapses there, but we do. Uh, yeah, one minute mere battle sphere to work with Dread Return. Love it. Love it. Uh, the rest was all pretty good. Yeah. Um, over in the sideboard. I think these... I think this is might be a little too much for aggro. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think we want the fourth duress. Yeah, Sire in the board. That's right. Uh, fourth duress. Sire of insanity. I don't think I have one currently. But I can search by... Quantity zero. Uh, probably over one resolute. We can kind of, because we're playing um, four buried alive now, we can just play like toolbox reanimator essentially. Um, but yeah, I think these four coming in for aggro and essentially taking out the Sphinx and the Nether Hall and one rune scard or something is probably ideal sire for combo is sweet um yeah i think that's probably how i'd run it overall i think the list is doing something quite powerful and something reasonably good um we didn't get the best showing of it but i think it's all right lost like yeah lost legacy is very good it is very good do we need four saw guides? Because, you see, we have the best... We actually main deck the best uh, graveyard hang. And it's called Animate Dead. <laughs> now, I don't know if you know about this, but Animate Dead, it gets your opponent's creatures. 